I have a question for you both. How did you guys get into the industry with doing transformers and stuff like that? I have I have an answer. Yes, please. I I, <laughs> I had uh, I was cast in the show uh, by Wally Burr when I was really really uh, relatively new. Uh, my uh, my whole origin story is all theater, theater, theater. I used theater to, I, I toured theater cross country. I was uh, based in the Midwest and was beginning to reach further out and further out. There's a million answers to this story. Uh, when My senior year in, in theater conservatory, I had a, an acting teacher uh, and he said, uh, because my plan was I was gonna work five years at each repertory theater in the United States and then I'd be 112 years old and I'd retire having never not been an actor. Um, he said, that's a fine plan, but before you do that, he said, I want you to think uh, about your obligation to seek the largest audience that you can find. Uh, and I thought that was really great advice at the time and it kind of fueled me to reach out further to, to both coasts. And I was in a tour of a play that wound up on the West Coast, and so I tried to meet agents on my day off. I tried to just network myself and try to introduce myself to a town that had no idea that I existed. So uh, cut to, I did uh, get representation, I got, I got seen, I never stopped auditioning, I never stopped scouring the papers. Um, and you need that dedication because the odds against actually becoming recognized are astronomical. We're all tested every day. You know, you have a gig and then you don't have a gig and essentially you're starting over again, reintroducing yourself again, reinventing yourself again. So I was doing a play, this, is, this speaks to just I believe opportunity makes itself available to the deserving, but if you mistake it for just another moment, then that's what it becomes. I had, uh, I was in a play in Los Angeles. Actually, I went into the play as an understudy, and I thought, no one will ever see me. This and I, it, it's such an expending of all my time, all my nights, all my everything. But I love this play, and I want to be as close to it as I'm allowed to be. Uh, the night came when, when uh, the guy I was understudying had car trouble, half hour, they told me I was on, uh, and uh, total adrenaline overload, it went unbelievably well, and in the audience that night was uh, Gordon Hunt, who was doing all of the voice direction for Hanna-Barbera in those days. Well, he came backstage, it was, uh, uh, this was one moment that changed the rest of my life. Uh, and he said, if you're as versatile as what we just saw on stage, we should know about you at Hanna-Barbera. And I thought, it's like my life went into slow motion the way it does when there's an opportunity. And it's like an interactive game and you have to make choices and you're the player and what you do decides what comes next. And um, I said, which I never say, uh, well, you've had my demo for a couple of months. If you can move it from the bottom of the pile to the top of the pile, I'd love to be doing what you're doing. He said, well, you got a lot of nerve, don't you? And I said, normally, no. Uh, I, 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 but if you're asking, uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm ready and I would love to be doing that. And uh, I swear in my head, I thought, if I just say thank you to this guy in this moment, he's going to forget it before he gets to the car. So I said the thing that I thought he wouldn't forget, and he didn't. And he had me in less than a week later uh, in a peripheral role. And he said, he told the story to the whole company. And within a couple of weeks of that, he had me back for an episode of what they were calling the New Jetsons. Uh, and I was Curly Quasar, and I had a blind day with Judy Jetson, and the episode still airs. And it just, it was so thrilling. Um, <laughs> And, and he, he said, I want you to welcome him. I, I think he's one of the new kids, and I saw him on stage. So by doing the thing that I don't instinctively do, which is be polite, um, somebody remembered me. And so if you want to be remembered, be memorable. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for your time. That's a great answer.